K-drama has proven to be one of the most sought after movies over the years and Boys Over Flowers is not an exception. We can't deny the fact that the fascinating hit series stole people's attention with an interesting plot and multi-talented actors. The intriguing series, Boys Over Flowers, was one of the first dramas to bestow universal fame on the male lead character, Li Mi Ho, and the female lead character, Gwen Yin Sun. The movie also brought massive recognition and opportunities to several newbies, actors, and actresses. Despite the drama being 13 years old, it is still appealing and interesting to both old and new lovers of K-drama. The movie narrates the story of a working class thirsty and diligent young girl who gets entangled with a group of extremely rich trouble successors, popularly called F4 in school. Their leader, Gu Junpyo, eventually falls in love with her. Boys Over Flowers was released in 2009 and that makes it 13 years since the movie head. Now the question is, where are the cast of Boys Over Flowers? What do they look like now and what are they up to? Please click on the subscribe button and subscribe to this channel. Kindly turn on your notification bell so you get notified each time I upload a new video. Please do not forget to click on the like button. Leave a comment in the comment section and share this video. Please guys, do not skip the ads. Thank you. I love you. Do you still remember Gu Yun Sun, who played the female protagonist on the hit series Boys Over Flowers? Well, she has attained massive success in acting, writing, directing and singing ever since her breakout role as John D in Boys Over Flowers. She directed movies such as Dark Yellow, Fragments of Sweet Memories, The Madonna and Magic, Mystery Pink. In 2019, she released her best-selling novel titled Tears Are Shaped Like Hearts. Also in 2019, she was on the news due to her contested divorce with A Jae Hyun, a co-star in the 2015 drama Blood. She got married to Jae Hoon in 2016. She returned to limelight and showcased her artworks called Voyage again and again. In January 2021, she gave out a clue about her love life. She revealed that she's been listing down names of people she wants to invite to her future wedding. Going soon still looks gorgeous, yes after Boys Over Flowers head. The ever handsome and every girl's crush, Lee Mi Ho, gained massive recognition and global fame when he featured as the main protagonist in the television series Boys Over Flowers. He was only 21 years old when he stayed in the captivating hit series. Ever since his breakout role as the leader of the Air Force, Gu Junpyo in Boys Over Flowers, he earned several opportunities and he's been regarded as one of the most sought after and leading actors in South Korea. Thanks to the part he played in Boys Over Flowers, he landed major roles in famous K dramas. In 2011, he got a major role in the mega hit series City Hunter. Remember the interesting K-drama Legend of the Blue Sea, which aired in 2016? Well, he earned the lead role in Hit, and in 2013, he also starred in the movie The Hairs. These are just few out of the movies Lee Mi Ho has featured in. In 2019, Lee Mi Ho was discharged from his composing military enlistment. Concerning his love life, Lee Mi Ho was reported to have dated a city hunter co-star, Park Min Young, from 2015 to 2017. He also had a romantic relationship with the guest singer, model, and actress, Bae Suzy. The duo eventually broke up. Lee Mi Ho has been single ever since. Years after Boys Over Flowers aired, Lee Mi Ho still looks handsome. The actor and singer, Kim Bom, dominates the Korean entertainment industry ever since he played the role of Yi Jung, one of the effort in Boys Over Flowers. We can't deny the fact that his smile stole people's hearts. He has stayed in several dramas like Dream, That Winter, Goddess of Fire, The Wind Blows, Miracle Ends, amongst others. In 2013, Kim Boom had a public affair with his Goddess of Fire co-star, Moon Young. They broke up in May 2014. He released his first solo album in 2013 and he was discharged from his composing military enlistment in March 2020. But before the commencement of his obligatory military duties in 2018, he, he revealed that he was diagnosed with arthritis. He made a huge comeback in the Korean drama Tale of the Night Tale as half human and half animal. He also casted in law school where he executed the character and Jun, a first year law student who conceals a horrible secret. He still has a charming smile and a cute face years after Boys Over Flowers head. 
Kim So Hoon played a perfect girlfriend to John D, and she got her back in every situation. She eventually falls deeply in love with one of the notorious F4. Kim So Hoon became a popular actress and model since her breakout role as John D's best friend and ally in Boys Over Flowers. She made appearances in several K dramas. Some of them include Lucky or Not, Liar Game, He Who Can't Marry, A Thousand Kisses, The Oz Doctor, Web Series After School, amongst others. She is notable for her participation in the season 4 of the reality series We Got Married, alongside Song Jae Rim. As of 2022, Kim So is very much active in the Korean entertainment industry. Kim remains beautiful years after Boys Over Flowers head. Kim Joon started his career as a singer and rapper in 2007. His band called Team Max sang the soundtrack for Boys Over Flowers. Kim Joon acted as one of the popular rich elves named F4. Despite the fact that his band Team Max went their separate ways in 2011, Kim continues acting and has appeared in Detective in Trouble, Endless Love, and City of the Sun. He enlisted in the military and served until 2013. In 2015, he took a break from the spotlight and came back three years later in 2018 to reveal that he was already a husband and father. In an episode of The Return of Superman, Kim Jun opened up about his personal life and revealed that he got married to his longtime sweetheart in 2015. Years after Boys Over Flowers aired, the father of one Kim Jun still remained handsome. Kim Yoon Joo portrays the role of Lee Miho's older sisters in Boys Over Flowers. The philanthropist is known for a documentary called Echo Canada by Kim Yoon Joo. She released an essay and photo book titled Yujo's Handcrafted Story in December 2009, the same year Boys Over Flowers was released. She's duly focused on volunteer work and charity work and acting career. She stared on the land, Twinkle Twinkle, The Miracles We Met, Fantastic, amongst others. Years after Boys Over Flowers' head, Kim still looks beautiful. Kim Yoo Jung executed the role of the quiet and calm Ji Ho. Boys Over Flowers brought him to limelight and he has continued to pursue his music career. In 2011, he went solo and released his EP titled Breakdown. He has since then released several hit singles and album. Jung has gained huge popularity in South Korea and Japan. He frequently shares pictures of him on tour and his performances on his official Instagram account. He is active on YouTube. Aside singing, he has continued to have a successful career in acting with roles in Playful Kiss, Inspiring Generation, and Barefoot Friend. Playful Kiss gained international recognition and Jung is widely known in Japan. Jung is married to his first love and BFF. Prior to Boys Over Flowers in 2009, Kim K. Bang was already an established actor who had supporting roles in My Lovely Kim Samson, Thank You, and Kim Chi Chi Smile. Kim Bang executed the role of John D's forward shop boss. Since his appearance in Boys Over Flowers, he has earned more supporting roles in Go Family Book, My Lovely Girl, Medical Top Team, and Art to Art. He played his first major role in the film Jo Chang Massacre, Bloody Winter, in 2013. Who would have thought that John D's younger brother was 14 years old when filming began in 2008? Well, he's all grown up now, he has finished high school and has completed his obligatory military service. After he won Best Young Actor for Boys Over Flowers, he has stayed in dramas like Incarnation of Money and The Suspicious Housekeeper. In 2018, he featured in the drama Bad Papa. He also won an award for May Queen. Lee Young played the role of Lee Miho and Yoo Jo's mother in Boys Over Flowers. The South Korean actress is the daughter to the famous film director Lee Man Hee, who died in 1975. Lee began her acting career in 1981 at the age of 17 through a local musical theatre production of The Sound of Music. She was one of the most prominent South Korean actresses in the 1980s, staring in films like The Blazing Sun, Winter Wanderer, Ticket, The Age of Success, No Blood, No Tears, and amongst others, Lee remains beautiful years after Boys Over Flowers' head. And so Kwon played the role of the ideal and loving father to John Dee and Kang Sang in Boys Over Flowers. 
the South Korean actor has been active on the theater, film, and television since 1986. The award-winning actor is known for The Uncanny Counter, 100 Days My Prince, Just Do It, My Father, and several others.